Hi, Mr. Rokana. Hi. I'm Gloria Chang, a reporter from The Smoke Signal. I'm Nikki Xu, and I'm also a reporter from The Smoke Signal. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Thank you. We have a few questions for you for this interview. So for the first question, who or what inspired you to run for office? Great question. My grandfather did. He was in the Indian Freedom Movement uh, under Gandhi's Independence Movement, and he spent four years in jail fighting for human rights, and he's an inspiration to me. Okay, so for the second question, what local issues on your platform do you think are especially relevant to Mission San Jose high school students, particularly in relation to public educational funding? Well, I think we need to increase public education funding for K through 12. We need more science and math teachers, we need more computer science, we need more funding for the arts and drama, uh, we need smaller class sizes, and when I'm in Congress, I'm really gonna work to increase funding for our local schools. <clears throat> a lot of young people are getting involved in politics this election cycle, and there has been some discontent over income distribution, employment, and college affordability. What is your stance regarding these economic issues? It's a, a problem. The uh, issues of income disparity are a huge issue for our country, and we've got to have more min uh, support for education. We've got to have uh, understand we're having automation and understand the skills people are going to need. We need a strong uh, safety net so that people have a basic uh, minimum income. Uh, and we need a uh, higher tax of people who are multi-millionaires on Wall Street. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate your answers. Vicky here will be asking a few additional questions. Great. Okay. So um, you've had some experience on the U.S. Department Chamber of um, Commerce. Department of yes. Commerce. Yeah. So how has that uh, shaped your views regarding international trade deals? And also, how does that, um, what, what are your stances on like Trump's populist stance of dismantling the free trade agreement versus Clinton's um, stance of just keeping it? Well, I'm more sympathetic to Hillary Clinton in that we have to engage in a global economy. 95% of the consumers live overseas. In this area, we're so diverse. We need to sell to China, to India, engage in a global economy, not engage in xenophobia or protectionism. Okay. And um, also, you mentioned that education is the main focus of your campaign, in your campaign. So California is ranked nine worst in the nation in terms of education right now. Why do you think this is, and how do you think we can improve that? We need more funding. California, after Prop 13, they cut a lot of the funding to the public schools. We need more federal funding, smaller class sizes, better facilities, more te math and science teachers, more drama. Uh, Massachusetts, New Jersey just had much higher funding. Okay, and finally, um, how do you think, as like a minority member, uh, like in America, how do you think that has uniquely impacted your views? I think it gives me a sensitivity for that we uh, have to engage with the rest of the world. We uh, uh, need to uh, understand that our actions impact people around the world in a sense of uh, uh, a global society we live in. Okay, yeah. So that's all the questions we had. Um, thank this you so much. This was a great interview. Yeah. You guys are journalists in the making. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you.